Bonjour class, we are here today to talk about how to make a sentence negative en français. You basically already know how to do it, but we are just going to walk through the steps. Here we go. Compare, first thing I want you to do is take a look at these sentences and figure out which ones do you think are negative and which ones do you think are affirmative or positive. J'aime manger. Je suis américain. Elle n'est pas française. Vous êtes en vacances. Tu n'es pas au café. Jean n'est pas ici. So take a look. What do you think? Hopefully you decided that toi, cinq, and six were all négatifs. Numéro trois. Elle n'est pas française. She is not French. Cinq. Tu n'es pas au café. And six. Jean n'est pas ici. These are three of negative sentences examples. We're going to take a look. So, en français, when we go to make a sentence negative, here's what we have to remember. Unlike in English, all right, I would say I do not go to the movies. I am not at the house. In French, we need two words to make a sentence negative. We need a ne and we need a pas, which you might have seen from the first um, example. So, what we do is we take the ne and pa and we put them around the conjugated verb. And that's really it. One little thing we have to remember. Ne becomes an apostrophe if the verb starts with a vowel. And we'll see two examples. So, first example, je suis à la maison. I am at home. I'm at the house. We have to remember, suis is my verb. The verb is usually the first verb after first word that follows the subject. So here is my subject, je suis, I am, this is my verb. Comes right after the subject almost always. Once you've identified your verb, then you can put your sentence together, je ne suis pas à la maison. So you can see why the first, the key step really is to make sure you understand where the verb is. Elle est française, she is French. Here's another example. We have to find our verb. L is my subject, A is the verb, so here's my verb, we're going to put ne pas around it, and see here we had to make it apostrophe because A started with a vowel. One more example, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. J'aime nager. Why is this complicated? Well, here's the deal, I like to swim. It actually has two verbs in the sentence. So. I used this word in the last slide, conjugated. What that means is my verb here is set to match my subject. So when I look for what verb do I put ne pas around, it's going to be the first verb I encounter, which is m, like. It's not that I do not swim, it's I do not like, like to swim. So we want to make the focus on the verb like. Je n'aime pas nager. Like I said, you already know how to say this. We're just sort of making it more explicit grammatically speaking. All right, so come in with some questions tomorrow and we are gonna practice. Au revoir.